hi guys in this video i'll be looking at the solutions to question number five for biology paper two for internal candidates for the year 2020 question five uh, a uh, one state the number of sex chromosomes in the nucleus of a somatic cell of the human body so when we talk about the somatic cell, these are the cells which make up the rest of our body and do not sexy cells. So in our body cells, we only have two sexy chromosomes. So males who have XY and the females who have XX. So here the solution is two chromosomes. Next part. What is hemophilia? So hemophilia is a blood uh, disorder which is actually uh, genetically inherited which will actually cause excessive bleeding due to lack of uh, blood clotting factors 8 and 9. Next part, B, using a genetic diagram, explain how normal parents for hemophilia can have a son who's hemophilic using the symbols uh, X uh, capital H and X small h to represent dominant and recessive alleles respectively. So the only way in which normal parents for hemophilia can have a hemophilic son is if the mother is actually a carrier for hemophilia since hemophilia is sexy linked meaning that it's carried on the sexy chromosomes so to write the genetic diagram you have to make sure you write all the five steps which are involved you show the parental phenotype the parental genotype then you show the garments then write the f1 offspring genotype and the f1 offspring phenotype so do not r miss out any of these steps so write them completely otherwise you are going to lose all the marks on your genetic diagram so let's now write and see how the genetic diagram will appear so this is how you write the genetic cross so make sure you indicate your parental phenotype you show the normal mother being crossed with the normal father so the x has to be there if the x is absent you are going to lose marks for the parental phenotype so the x only has to be on the phenotype do not put the x on here or there otherwise that will make this part of the cross wrong the next we show the parental genotype so here we have the carrier mother because they have a normal gene and a recessive gene. So this makes the, mom, the mother the carrier. Then of course the father is normal because of who? the hemophilic gene which is normal. So when you write the gametes, make sure you separate them with a space so that you show that the gametes has been separated during meiosis. Then we cross and put f1 offspring genotype well, since this is the first cross so that's why it's f1 then we write the offspring uh, phenotype and uh, we show that this here is a normal female there that's a normal male there we have a normal female and that is a hemophilic male so this is how we show using a genetic diagram to show that uh, a normal mother and normal father who have a hemophilic son so this was the solution to question number five.
for biology paper 2 question 5 for the year 2020 for internal candidates thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like you can also share the video with your friends and also leave a comment in the comment section below if you have not yet subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any latest videos which i upload i'll see you again in the next video bye for now